The day after almost 13 million Canadians watched or listened to the leaders' debate, people here and right across the country compared notes on who won and where the campaign might go from here. Justin Trudeau went north to Nunavut to pitch his climate plan. Andrew Scheer was outside Toronto promising more funding for subways, while Jugmeet Singh was inside the city promising to scrap interest on student loans. We begin, though, here in Nova Scotia with a critical issue that's flatlined in this campaign, the spillover effect in the ER from a chronic doctor's shortage. We're obviously in overcrowding now. This emergency department in Truro, Nova Scotia is a microcosm of a national crisis. A lot of emergency patients, but not enough places for them to go. A waiting room of people who need a family doctor, not triage. The shortage is stretching this hospital to its limits. You're feeling the stress. We feel it. We see it. You can see it in the nurses. Everybody wants to do a good job. Nobody comes to work and says, hey, I want to have somebody wait four hours today. Exposing the dire situation is partly why our cameras were allowed in. The rare access opened the door to some blunt facts. Oh, you want to say something, yeah. Joe? I've seen this is nine Dr. Patient, I have seen nine patients in the first two hours. Six of them have no family doctor. For Dr. Yusuf Gadir, it means starting at square one. So many times we diagnose cancer in the emergency department because they don't have a proper care. We are all overwhelmed, the nurses, the doctors. Overwhelmed, overstretched, and overcapacity. Last year, around 575,000 patients made emergency visits to hospitals in Nova Scotia, up more than 25,000 from 2015. The average wait time, around five hours. Dr. Tanya Monroe has watched health care in her home province deteriorate. How do you feel about this uh, canary in the coal mine label? This is where the first cracks in the seam show up. Across the country, nearly 5 million Canadians don't have access to a family doctor. There's the shortage of family physicians coast to coast. Patients, unfortunately, may only have the emergency department as their access point to care. Part of the problem is an aging population. In Nova Scotia, though, another part is aging doctors. More than half are over 50, and reinforcements are few. It takes six years minimum to train a physician from entrance to medical school to completion of a family practice residency. So you have to be sort of ahead of the game by six or eight years to kind of catch up, and that's where we're at. We're playing catch up. Forcing hospital staff to make some hard choices. Um, this morning, uh, by 10 o'clock, we we're down to one stretcher. It puts us in a situation of having to make difficult decisions every day. Who gets the one stretcher that we have? At Colchester East Hance Health Centre, the staff is still waiting for the chronic shortages to register on the campaign trail. What do you want to hear more of? Tangible solutions or uh, just sort of, I guess, transparency with the Canadian public about what they truly can expect from our current health care system. I work here in Halifax. The problem is the same everywhere. So I think government, local and the federal, they have to do something.